what's going on everyone it is your girl Justine and I'm coming back at you all with another video so I am getting ready to wash my hair but prior to washing my hair I go through a couple of things that I like to do um, before washing my hair one of them is inspecting my locks yes you heard right inspecting my locks so you all might be wondering like what is she talking about why is she inspecting her locks etc etc yeah I inspect my locks so pretty much when I inspect my locks, what I'm doing is I'm looking for any lint that may be trapped in my hair. I'm looking for um, just any and everything. I'm looking to see if I have, let's say, um, you know, if my scalp is flaky. I'm looking to see if I have like any of those flakes embedded in my locks. Um, I'm just inspecting my um, The reason why I do that is because, um, you know, once you've washed your hair and you're ready to style it like no one wants to now notice that you have like stuff in your hair and that's when you're trying to pick them out and um, it's just a good hair habit to have especially when you have locks because um, sometimes I feel like my my hair is a lint remover I feel like I might just brush up on something and before I know it you know I got lint in my hair or you know I may have put a shirt on and then like I could see you know um, like a red thread in my hair you know from my shirt like I don't know it's just something about locks that it seems like we just tend to attract lint and like things that flow and what have you so this is an important thing that I always do and it just helps me to maintain my hair health overall it helps me in maintaining my hair health um, and just you know keeping any buildup to a minimum so that's why I do it so in order to do it, what I do is I either use um, hair ties like these, hair ties like these, or um, rubber bands, whatever makes you happy, whatever floats your boat. So all I do is I literally will take a section of my hair, like so, and then I'm going to just use my hair tie to put the rest towards the back. So I take a section. And then what I do is I kind of just where I, my hair was curly before, I kind of just, you know, I'm gonna straighten out the locks. So I'm straightening them out like this, fanning them out, whatever. And then I'm going to start inspecting. So I'm gonna start with the root. I mean, I'm sorry, I'm gonna start with the tip and I'm just gonna work my way up. So right now, this is, I'm sorry, this is what it looks like. These are what my ends look like. Okay, so I'm looking at the ends and I'm looking, looking. And I'm just looking for anything that just seems to be out of place. Any discoloration, that's another way, like when my hair is like, I don't know, blackish, brownish. If I notice something that obviously is not the color of my hair, then obviously it doesn't belong there. Um, and then as I'm looking, I work my way up. If I don't see anything, like I just start working my way up. And in this case, it's important to work with a little bit of locks. You don't want to overdo it and take too much because then it's a lot of ground to cover in one sweep. So this is a good amount what I have in my hand. I don't know, this is probably like a good 12, 10 locks. And I just keep looking and looking and looking. You know, um, I'm holding it this way, then I'm gonna flip it this way and just check the back. And I'm just looking and looking. I'm trying to make sure there is nothing embedded, nothing that got trapped, that wasn't supposed to be there. Just looking through. And I mean, so far it looks good. Um, because I am in the camera, I'm gonna just grab a little um, mirror here and just keep looking. Make sure there's nothing that I'm missing. So now I'm just kind of, as you can see, I'm like fingering it a little bit and just checking. So, so far this section that I just did looks pretty good. Hold on. Okay. Yeah. Looks good. So there was nothing, nothing out of the ordinary within this first section that I did. So then just to kind of move it out of the way, you could either band to knot it, knot it. Um, I'm just gonna take a rubber band and put on it. Just so that I know it's done. And there, that section is done. So now, same thing. Gonna come right here and just grab some more. Another handful, put away the rest.
and then just put away the rest. So now, same thing. I'm gonna straighten it out. Okay, so I have the ends here. So here's what it looks like, what my hair looks like. All right, so now I am looking through the ends and I've come across something. So I'm gonna try to show you all, and you might think like, oh, that's so tiny, it's nothing, but you know, that's, again, good hair health is noticing these little things. So right there, ugh, it's so hard for me to like get in really good. There's like a little piece of something white, I don't know, lint. So this is something that I can't get out with my nails, so I'm actually gonna actually use a tweezer. And I'm gonna take it out with the tweezers. Something small, I'm not gonna be doing surgery or anything like that to the lock, but it was just enough that like, as I swept through, I noticed it. All right, got it. Okay, so I'm gonna keep going. Oh, I see something else down here at the bottom. So this is, yeah, this is a lint. I think you guys could see that. It's like that white thing right there. So I'm just gonna Sweet and tweezers are not necessary, but sometimes they are they're helpful because sometimes it just could be something that's just really small that like you can't really grip with your nails or you might need the tweezer to like really get in there. Um, I'm in my bathroom so I keep the tweezer in the bathroom, which is why I was easily able to grab that. But yeah, so just keep going through and looking for any potential something like I said that should not be there again um, another reason why this is important is because I don't know about you guys but sometimes you know when you know when your hair is a certain length um, it doesn't I'm honestly I don't even think it matters if your hair is a certain length or not but like you might be eating something like I could be eating a bagel or cream cheese and I have my hair down and I've had this happen to me where I get cream cheese in my hair um, you know, or now where I have a baby, my hair might be down and if I'm burping, I always get milk on my shoulder. So, you know, I've had situations where I've gotten milk in my hair. So it just, you know, it's really good to look through your hair. And honestly, you don't have to specifically use this method that I'm using. This is just what works for me. This is something that I've done, you know, ever since I started my locks. So that's why I do this. I think I found something else. Okay, I got it out. But again, you just want to look. I mean, this is another way to, if let's say, you, you know, you might notice that or you might think you have like your locks thinning or something like that. This is a great way to just kind of look through and, and really assess and see what's going on with your hair. So I'm just going to, sorry, take my mirror and just look to see if there's anything that I may have missed. Fan through it. I think I see something yep I see another piece of lint I'm calling these things lint I don't know I think they're they, they are lint I don't really know what else they could be but so I'm gonna use my tweezer to get this piece of lint out there it is I don't know, this piece of lint was like greenish, <laughs> greenish, grayish. So yeah, that is pretty much what I do. I'm not gonna do my entire head on camera, but that's pretty much what I do to um, inspect my locks, just to make sure all is well, all is good. And then I move along with my cleaning and whatever else it is that I have to do. So hopefully this can help you guys. And I mean, if, you know, if this is something you've never done before, again, like I said, it's just a good, a good routinely thing to do with your locks. Um, so I hope it helps someone out there. 
Uh, thank you all for watching. Please subscribe if you are not a subscriber. Find me on Instagram. My information is in the description along with my email address. If you would like to email me, please go ahead and do so. Hit the like button and please stay tuned for my next video. I will see you all then. Bye. And just something to add real quick if you're doing this it also helps if you have someone to help you um that's just because like it might be hard to see in the back of your hair so either you can have someone help you or you could use a mirror one in front one in the back and that will allow you to see the back of your hair um because i mean i can pull my hair and do it but i mean up to a certain point i can no longer see so at that point i either have my husband help me or i use two mirrors so hopefully that tip helps mm -hmm.